Here, welcome back to Mo Mo on the Move. Welcome back to Mondays with Mo. Today's story time topic is weird encounters. Um, for this story, we're taking it back to Europe, um, back to me and Alexa's trip of a lifetime, um, our backpacking extravaganza. Um, I just want to say, first and foremost, that everybody that we told about this trip was highly concerned. They were like, you and Alexa are going to Europe by yourselves together and you're just bringing a backpack each for a month. And we're just like, yeah. And they were like, no, 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 no. <laughs> we had people praying for us like every day while we were out there. And honestly, thank God, because who knows if we would have made it back. Hello, did you watch the last episode? Anyway, so for this story, we're taking it to Amsterdam and back to Italy. Might have to split this into two parts because they're both pretty, pretty lengthy stories, but we'll see how much I can get done here. All right, we're going to start with Amsterdam first. So in Amsterdam, everybody's telling us, yo, y'all gotta, y'all gotta try the truffles there. You gotta go to Coco Pelli's, um, which is like some souvenir shop in Amsterdam. I'm sure you can get it anywhere else as well. But we went to this place called Coco Pelli's and this place was such a cute, zen, you know, relaxed, calm souvenir shop. You had a view, a window view in the back of a canal. Like we had like some wind chimes going on, like beautiful setup. And I'm like, they have troubles here? Like, this is, the, this is the, like, you have, like, you have gift cards, postcards, you know, your typical souvenir shop. And then I go to the front desk, and the front desk is like a glass encasement, and you just see all of the fun stuff there. All the truffles, shrooms, all of the above. And so I asked this lady, I'm like, so how do we go about, like, picking and purchasing the right truffle? And she's just like, so have you guys tripped before, like, Oh yeah, how many times? And like, what kind of like vibe are you guys like going for? Like, what are you guys doing today? And I was like, well, <laughs> we're going to a museum. We're going bike riding all over Amsterdam, and we have a canal cruise at seven. So what you got? And she's like, all right, all right. So you guys want like this medium, medium trip? You know, like not too many visuals, but you'll see some visuals, all right. Um. But relaxed ride. I was like, yep, that's the one. She's like, all right, Dolphin's Delight it is. And I was like, all right. She's like, make sure you don't eat an hour, three hours before. And me and Alyssa had just eaten these ginormous pancakes in Amsterdam. So we had to wait. We take it at this um, near the Rijksmuseum area, mad cute. And, you know, we're just waiting patiently. You know, what, when is it going to happen? When are we going to feel it? What are we going to see? What's going to happen? I don't know. So we're like, maybe we should ride our bike to a destination we kind of want to stay at for a little while. Also, something that's close to this canal cruise because we booked it. And I was like, all right. So we finally make it to Vondel Park, one of Amsterdam's most famous parks. It's beautiful. Every, everything was green. Everybody was happy. Everybody was on sun. And... You know, we like ran through a bunch of like bachelorette parties and bachelor parties. Everybody's just having a good time. So we finally find our mark. We, we lay down, you know, park our bikes and we're just looking at the clouds and we're like waiting to see. Oh, and then we finally start feeling and we're like, oh, and then we're like in the giggly phase. So we're just looking at the clouds, you know, like, what do you see? What do you see? You know, typical trip talk. So then all of a sudden this man, this black man on a bicycle, pulls up next to us and he's just like oh oh and me and Alexa are like what the fuck <laughs> what is going on and he's like uh -huh -huh. and because he saw me and Alexa laying down and our legs were like intertwined and he's like so are you guys like and we're just like oh no 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 like she's like I have a boyfriend and I was like no we're not together that's my best friend and he was like, oh, all right. Literally, that's what he said all the time. All right. That was like how he responded to everything. He was like the, this Dutch man, but he was born in Brazil. His parents are Brazilian. 
I moved him to Amsterdam. He learned, he learned, he has like, he knows like four or five languages, like everybody in Europe. But I just need you to visualize what this man looked like. He had a little fro, um, this light blue, simple, solid color t-shirt with some short khakis on and a man purse, like on a bike. He was a little socially awkward, but he's like, you know, having a conversation, like, where are you guys from? We're like, New York. He was fascinated by us and he was just like, okay. And then I was like, what's your name? <laughs> I don't know what to do. Once I asked him his name, he decided to park his bike and just like sit pretzel style right in front of us. And he's just like, all right. And I'm just like, fuck. And then he's like, I don't know like how we got to the topic of lotion, but he asked us like what lotion we use, I think. And I was just like, you know, like standard, like Aveeno, like coconut oil sometimes. He's like, all right. And then he starts talking about the lotion he uses. And I'm thinking it's like some exotic ash, Dutch Brazilian type shit. And he's like, he pulls it out of his little man purse and it's fucking Nivea. And I'm like, oh, I know Nivea. Like, we know Nivea. And he's just like, and then he just looks at my feet and he's like, oh such beautiful souls oh my god and alexa and i just look at each other and we're like what is happening and then he's like he just starts massaging my feet like i'm laying down like and i'm just like am i am i tripping balls or is this really happening and alexa's dying and i'm like this has to be happening if she sees it i see it like what is happening he, this, i feel it <laughs> like alexa's like bro i think he has a foot fetish <laughs> And I'm like, you think? And then I'm like, bro, do you got a foot fetish? And he's like, foot fetish? He had no idea what the fuck a foot fetish was. And I was like, forget it. But he was a harmless little butterfly, but he was a weird little butterfly. That's, that's for damn sure. Honestly, though, like the most gentle foot massage I have ever received in my entire life. And Alexa is in tears, bawling, like. What is happening? And she's like making fun of me because, you know, this man's massaging my feet. And then he looks at her feet and he's like, all right. And then he starts, he starts massaging her feet. And then I start dying like, yeah, bitch, get your little feet massaged. I, we're just really willing to do, like, it, it was weird. It was weird. But, like, he wasn't creepy in the way, like, he, he we didn't feel any harm by him. And, like, nothing happened after. Like, so then after he gave us, like, a great foot massage. I was just like, we just sat like pretzel style, like we're just like talking and he's telling us about his life and then we're just like, you know, trying to speed up this process because we're like, what the fuck is happening? And we're like, oh shit, we gotta get to the fucking canal cruise. And we're just like, oh, we like, we gotta go, da 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 da. It was nice, thank you for massaging our feet, I guess. <laughs> This man was special. This man's name was Ludwig. And I wish we took a picture with him because you really needed the full visual. But anyway, so we're about to bounce. You know, we're making our way. Alexa has to shit. Uh, like, literally, she has to, like, explode. And, and then he's like, wait, 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 wait. Do you guys have email? And we just look at each other. And we're like, just asking for our email? I guess, like, sure. We give him, Alexa gives him her email and she's like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna write to you guys. I'm gonna write to you guys. And I'm just like, okay, Ludwig, gotta go, gotta go, gotta blast. And he was like, okay, beautiful. It was so nice meeting you guys. Like, da 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 da. And we're just like, okay, bye, Ludwig. We're riding our bikes, trying to get to the canal cruise. And, and I'm like, Alexa, was that real? Like, you saw that, right? Can you believe what just happened? And she's just like, bro, I don't know. But if we actually get an email from this man, then we know damn well that this shit happened. Also, we could have just been tripping balls. Or maybe everybody knows that he's like the park weirdo. And like, he just gives out free foot massages to people. I, I don't know. He was just, he was special, Ludwig. Ludwig's a special man. Months later... Like months, months, months later, Alexa messages me and she's like, bro, 
And I'm like, what? She's like, you would never believe who just emailed me. And I'm like, no way. We, we did our trip in June and we came back and I don't think she got this message until December. December. And it's in some broken ass English. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. I was like, Alexa, I knew what we saw was real. <laughs> that was a real foot massage.